Hey, what's up? It's Mike Hill Metal, and this is some more Kerbal Shuttle program. This time I'm launching the Z1 and P6 trusses, as well as the Destiny Laboratory module. Here we go, a nice shot of the launch and the external tank separation. Uh, unfortunately, the solar panel trusses are slightly too large for the Kerbal Shuttle, uh, so I had to use a rocket, so that's the only, like, change that I've made so far. Might have to do that again eventually, but uh, for right now, I am setting up the Z1 node, or the Z1 truss, I mean, which is basically a large reaction wheel. And I'm loving these cinematic shots. Bringing him really close to the station, try to zero out the velocity. Use RCS to slow it down. There we go. <coughs> now, remove it from the payload bay. And then it's going to use its own RCS on board to dock by itself because the other side of it isn't capable of docking with the space shuttle because it's a 2.5 meter docking port. Get a nice shot of that. There's the station so far. I'm gonna bring it in close to the station and try to dock. And I'm gonna show you what I mean by the uh, the game not wanting to film the dockings, because this happens every time that I'm using fraps. It happens a couple of times when I'm not using fraps, too, but it, it, it almost always happens when I'm using fraps. I bring it in nice and slow. And when I get close enough and make contact, you'll see what I mean. And chaos. <laughs> <laughs> the station just flies directly towards Kerbin, and everything goes wonky. So, I'm going to bring it in again. Try this again. Sometimes I'll get it to work. Sometimes I won't. But, uh, yeah. I'm using the Navy Fish Docking Alignment uh, Indicator. Thing is very helpful. With the amazing docking sounds. I love those. And now we're going to get a nice shot of the station with the shuttle attached. And we are going to launch the first station panel, uh, the solar panel. A little bit of a rocky start on that launch. It's okay. Cinematic shots on launch always look amazing. I love this. Nice sonic boom there. Pairing, uh, <laughs> fairing jettison. I don't know why I said pairing. Just bring it into the station nice and slow. And I'm going to flip it north and south so that I can dock with the top of the Z1. And there we are docked. I had to slightly turn the station a little bit because the, uh, the solar panel actually does spin on its axis. Then we get a shot of the solar panel open. Uh, so what I need to do is I need to put another docking node on the bottom of the station so I can dock somewhere else while it's open, at least while it's in this position. Because the nose of the shuttle is slightly too long. And it's time to head home, so we're going to undock from the station and pull away. And 
Then we're going to flip towards Kerbin a little bit and keep burning the RCS. Rotate a little bit more. And as soon as I get clear, I'm going to flip and start burning retrograde. And what I like to do is I set it up in a lower orbit first, so I get away from the station, and then I set up for the re-entry burn. Get some re-entry heating on there. And I don't like landing directly in I like coming in from over the water, in case I have to ditch. There we go, and flare. Touchdown's a little bit rough. Put the chutes. I need to set those up to an action group, so I just hit, hit one button instead of hitting space part twice, because it likes to do that for some reason. And hold the brakes, make a full stop. And here is the next shuttle that's heading up. And this has the Destiny Laboratory module. This is the last part that I'm going to be sending up in this episode. Beautiful shot of the takeoff. SRB jettison. Open the payload bay, and there is the Destiny module. The one thing that I did do after this is that I kind of replaced all the parts with different parts on the station. I basically built a new station from scratch up to the point where I am currently at, and I replaced it with more modular parts so I could actually move those uh, extenders, the black extender on the top of it. I can move those around now. So that'll be different in the next episode, but uh, nothing else should be. It should be like nothing ever happened. And we're going to bring them in nice and slow and dock at the top of it. And once we're done with that, we're going to put it on the front of the station and extend the nose of it out a little bit. Lined up for docking. And once we're docked, we're going to transfer some crew over into the Destiny Lab. The station is starting to look real nice, coming together. Awesome. And here's an IVA view from the new laboratory module. This is awesome. Cold things, samples, marshmallows, Jeb snacks, toaster. This is awesome. And they're playing KSP on the computers. <laughs> this is this is this is an amazing IVA view. I love this. And it's time to head home. So we're going to undock from the station and burn away uh, from the station with our RCS a little bit. And once we get clear, we're going to set up for a lower orbit. And once we get low enough, we're going to close the cargo bay and get set up for re-entry. We're going to keep the nose a little bit high because we're a little far away from the KSC. Bunch of re-entry heating. Nice cinematic shot of the re-entry coming in over KSC. And we're going to come in and glide it into the runway. And as soon as we flip it around towards the KSC coming over the ocean. Drop the gear. 
And that's going to be it for this one. Uh, next time, I'm going to be launching the Quest Airlock, the Piers Docking Module in Airlock, and the S0 Truss. Go deploy the parachutes. Uh, so if you liked the video, leave a comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Hold on beyond a tree. Got one. He's down. He's down.